Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see this uh, demo how to create the data set table by using the SQL queries in Google BigQuery. Yeah, in this demo we are going to create a data set by using the SQL queries in Google BigQuery. Second, we are going to create the table for the data set. Next, we are going to insert the values into the table. And finally, we are going to do the bulk insert values into the table. Okay, let's start the demo. I'm going to open the GCP console. So this is my Google Cloud console. Now I'm going to open the Google BigQuery. Yes, I am going to open a Google BigQuery. I'm selecting the BigQuery now. Okay, so I have opened the query. So now I'm going to click this uh, compose new query here. I'm going to write a query right now. So this is my project with no 588 it is my project. Okay, now we are going to create a data set by using the curve. I mean SQL only BigQuery in BigQuery. So now we could create create the schema then we have to give the name so i am going to give the name like this i'm copying and i'm going to paste that okay so first vishnu 588-tf it is my project id so you have to enter your uh, project id friends then dot then here we need to specify our data set name here okay now i am going to run this query now the data set is going to create right now so the data set name cs 2020 2023 was created so here you can see friends cs 2023 data set has been created now second step we need to create the table so for that I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it here. Let me remove this. Okay, so now next what we need to do means we have to uh, create the table. Now we are going to create the table under the data set CS2023. That is our uh, task. Okay, so now create and the table, then we have to give the data set name, and here we have to give the table name. This is our new table name, and here we need to specify the attributes. So roll number, and we have to give the data type roll number as integer and the name as a string then mark one as integer mark two integer mark three integer mark four integer mark five like that i am giving now i am going to run this uh, query now table uh, class on table will be created under the cs2023 get asset friends now you can see it has been created successfully okay now next i uh, what we are going to do means we are going to insert the uh, some values in in this uh, class on table okay now next step i'm going to copy this query copy this query and i'm going to paste it here okay. now you can see Okay, now we can see insert. This is our uh, data set name CS2023, then class one. And uh, here I am going to uh, 
uh, I'm giving this roll number name M1, M2, M3, M5. Then values I'm giving as uh, roll number as 110 and I'm giving the name and I'm giving the uh, marks M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. This is uh, whatever uh, you can give it friends, the values and uh, this attribute also you can give as per your need. Okay, now this is for example, I'm going to insert this. Just click run. Now you can see friends under this class one, uh, one record will be inserted. The statement add one row to class one. So now if you are uh, clicking this class one, you can see friends, uh, I think in preview, you can see. I think uh, we need to refresh it. Okay, and just close it. Let me open it again. Okay, now you can see friends, row uh, number is one, roll number, name and M1, M2, you can uh, see it, it is reflecting right now. So likewise, you can also uh, do it friends by using these SQL queries. Okay, now next uh, task is uh, we need to do the bulk insert values into the table. Okay, how to do the bulk insert? For example, I have inserted uh, one record only here, right? But I need to uh, insert more than uh, one record. So how to do? So that is what we are going to do right now. So now again, I am going to create uh, one more table. So this is my second table. So let me remove this uh, query. And here I am going to enter this so PA table CS 2023. It's my data set name. Then class two, it is one more table. This is my second table. Then I am giving this uh, uh, like uh, attribute name and uh, data type. So you can see and i am going to create uh, one more table so here class 2 it will be reflecting here you can see friends okay now it came class 2 okay great so next what i am going to do means i am going to do the bulk insert so just i am going to copy this and i am going to paste it just remove this sorry and i am going to Put this okay now you can see friends insert uh, then data set uh, name and uh, our uh, I mean table name then roll number name m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 then values uh, we need to give like this okay then here first we need to specify like this and comma we have to put it here and like that we need to put uh, the second uh, uh, record values second uh, row values then again uh, one more uh, here you can put the comma and likewise you have to put friends okay now i am getting some syntax error okay let's see now what is this error we need to identify it Okay, so I think here it is error it came. Okay, friends. So now we can, uh, we are going to run this uh, query bulk. We are doing the bulk insert now under the table class two. Okay, the statement added six rows to the class two. Now you can see friends, go to the class two and uh, under the preview, I mean, click the preview, you can see it friends. So likewise, you can also try it, friends. If you are having any issues with this, you can put in comments. I will try to resolve. I mean, I will try to reply your comment. Thank you so much, friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.